All right, thanks. So what I would like to share is um, North Carolina, how we are trying to implement the manual. Um, maybe not implement is probably not the right term. A better term might be uh, get familiar with it. Um, so part of the, the first step is to, to actually read it. And so what we are doing is um, a year long review of what's in the manual. And so we have um, had our first meeting where we've gathered as a group. Um, I started with the unit that um, I can actually make come to this meeting. I um, also invited some regional partners that um, have responsibilities for TMCs and they voluntar voluntarily came to this meeting. Um, and we are collectively going through um, the manual together, reading the chapters, um, but we're going to, I'm going I'm to show you how we're trying to do it in a, in a creative way. So it's, it's not just a boring manual. It's not, the manual is not boring because I have read it a couple of times and I think it's fascinating, but um, some people might not think it's as fascinating as I do. So um, what, what we are, our goals out of this year long review is for everybody to get familiar with what's in it. And because we are the TISMO unit. We should be the subject matter experts for what's in it. And that will help us. If we know what's in it, we can help guide other, other disciplines to it for when it's appropriate. Um, the other thing is we want to be actively using the TOM. So we want to know when we need to reference the TOM and uh, or go to look for something in the TOM. And then the other goal I have, because I am part of the, the TOM technical committee, is is if somebody's using it and they have some feedback on what's in it, I can take that and provide it by, back to the Tom Technical Committee. So if we're actively using it, we'll get some feedback. And, and that's already happened in, in at least one case. Um, and then the other goal that I had is to, to stretch my team's current understanding. So I selected the teams um, and the folks that would be on the team for which chapters or which sections they were gonna lead so that they would get more familiar with the um, parts of the manual that I thought would, would help them the most or benefit them the most. Can I ask a question? Are you seeing the words that I'm saying on the screen as well? And does yeah. anybody know how to turn that off? Because that is very distracting. <laughs> Those are the um, closed How's captions. That? There you go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, all right. So let me talk about how we did this. We we took the unit and and I don't recall how many people. It's somewhere between 50 and 70. So sorry for I didn't get the exact numbers. Um, we brought them in. So we did a kickoff, in-person kickoff in January, and we brought everybody in. It, the other thing I wanted to get out of having this meeting is my unit is pretty spread out. We don't all work in the same building. Um, some of them don't even work in the same town. So uh, I wanted an opportunity to do some team building at the same time where people uh, could meet each other, uh, particularly some of our younger engineers who had not met um, or, or could meet maybe a, a, a mentor in this uh, through this meeting. And so we um, put people in teams when they first arrived so that they could get familiar with and introduce themselves. We gave them some exercises to, you know, uh, introduce themselves to the people at their table. Um, and then we assigned later on through the, the day, we assigned them the chapters that they are gonna be responsible for and the schedule in which they're gonna be responsible for presenting the chapters. Um, the other thing about presenting is, is it's hard enough to wanna read a manual that could be you know, a hard read, especially if you're um, well, manual is the word manual in itself is is difficult. Um, we wanted to do this in a creative way, a more interactive way, something that would make it less um, boring, I guess, is the word. So um, this is the schedule. We're, we're trying to get through this in a whole year. It's pretty aggressive. Um, each team has anywhere from five to maybe 10 people on each team. The other thing we did with the teams as we made sure that there's different levels on the team. We didn't want it to be um, just all supervisors or all, we wanted the supervisors to be exposed to other, other um, younger engineers that might not be in their group. And so we intentionally 
mixed up the teams so that we would have some uh, better, even more team building and getting to know you type exercises through this. So as you see, we have um, already done one of our uh, meetings. So we, we also had to, because we we're not all together in one place, um, we I decided it was best to have just one in-person meeting and we'll have another in-person meeting in January next year. All these meetings that we're having uh, each month are virtual. So we had to be we asked the teams to be creative virtually also. So extra challenging. Not only is it extra challenging uh, because it's virtual, but it's a lot of engineers um, and creative is not necessarily their middle name. So um, but. I do think uh, it is more fun than just reading. So uh, back to the in-person meeting, we introduced the unit to the transportation operations manual. We had some exercises, um, not only just team building exercises where they got to know each other, but they had a, a project that they had to do. And I'm, I'm, if you're interested in what the project was on the team, I'll tell you later, but I don't want to steal the thunder. Uh, it could be a, a good, um, you, you probably see in the picture, they had to build something and they had to do it as a team. And there was a prize um, for whoever did the, the best, highest um, building. And so that was really fun, um, but it was a way to engage everybody. And then we discussed collectively, we discussed chapters one through five. And so, uh, I will, tell you, I will admit that I cheated a little bit. I have a, um, a professional trainer on my staff, and he helped me with putting this, this whole program for a day together and how you train and, and work with adult learners. And so he was able to create a lot of, of the, the cool exercises and team building um, opportunities. Um, then we also had lunch for him. We brought in lunch, we, um, and then we gave him some time so we mixed them up again after the beginning. We put them in a different team, which would be their team that they're going to work with for the rest of the year um, on their presentations. And um, we gave them some time to get together and figure out their strategy. Uh, so during the, the review of the first five chapters, we did it through um, anchor charts where they had, instead of me getting up there and presenting about the first five chapters, we let them tell each other what were the main points out of those chapters. And again, another way to, to be interactive and more interesting than just reading. So this, I mentioned we had a, one of our first team meetings um, I said team, I've said team a lot. This is an actual teams, the program teams. Um, team, we were doing this virtually on teams. Um, and the team that presented in February used a um, Jeopardy uh, interactive. So they did kind of like a skit, mm -hmm. pretending there were participants that um, were playing the game Jeopardy and their topic, which was probably one of the harder topics was systems engineering chapter. And so it was a way to present the, the, the concepts of systems engineering to the audience in a more fun way. And so uh, we also are offering PDHs for this. Um, to, to, so everybody that was on, in the team that started off in January is required to come to every one of these meetings that we have virtually. If they, are out that day, then we have a recording and they're required to then um, review the recording and, and we document who's attended. Uh, let's see. We're also doing surveys. So I said creative way. So we're given prizes for the most creative um, teams. So I've already heard that at least two other groups were going to use the Jeopardy um, idea and uh, they can't now because somebody else has already done that. So then now the next teams that come along with the next chapters are going to have to come up with something uh, different and, and as creative. So we're voting after the meetings on um, whether it was creative, informative, and at the end of the year, we will award some prizes for the most uh, creative and engaging presentations. And so I think that's it. That's all I have to share. And I'm open to any questions. I probably didn't say everything that um, I could have said about it, but I think you got the gist of, of what we did and how we're going to try and learn 
as much as we can about the Tom throughout this year.